Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today we will be drawing a gymnast. So let's get started. And if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day. And along the way while I draw, I will give you some fun facts about gymnasts. And also, if you have any requests for me to draw for next time, please let me know by commenting below so I can draw it for you for next time. So the gymnast I'm drawing today, it's going to be upside down and hands. Uh, she's standing on her hands. So what I'm drawing now is the legs and then um, I will draw the rest of it and you will see how I draw it. And um, like I said before, if you want to send me a request for me to draw for next time, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to connect with me through other media or my other... Um, Instagram, um, Facebook and Twitter information is in the description box below for you so you can connect with me through those media as well. So to give you the fun facts today, I'm choosing the website integrityop.com um, and it's a website called Integrity Gymnastics and I will be giving you some fun facts about gymnastics in general and um, the perfect 10 has been eliminated it says. Uh, in 1974, 14-year-old Nadia Komenik uh, captivated the world when she earned three perfect 10 scores at the Olympic Games. Since that time, since that time, Olympic gymnasts had only one goal in mind, to achieve a perfect 10. The scoring model was changed in 2006. Now Olympic competitors can only get a perfect 10 in their dreams. Hmm, interesting. And um, Nadia Komenich, uh, I've seen the movie, it's a great movie, and if you haven't seen it, you should watch it, it's a fantastic movie to watch. So, um, you can see now, I drew the general shape of the whole gymnast, and I just have to add hair and the shape of the face. And then we will go into coloring and I will show you how I colored it as well. And I will show you how the full color drawing looks like just shortly. So you can get the whole look um, of the drawing as well. So um, you can see how it all comes together. So if you're a professional gymnast, you probably began your career really early. Mastering the art of gymnastics takes years of dedicated practice. So many professional gymnasts began practicing the sport at the tender age of three. The interesting thing is to take, uh, it takes males much longer to peak in the sport. Female gymnasts achieve mastery by the age of 14 until 18 years old and male gymnasts master the sport in their late teens until their early 20s it's interesting right and apparently when it comes to male and female gymnastics the routines are different so from the event to the focus men's and women's gymnastics are not the same women's gymnastics focuses on artistry and strength, while men's gymnastics focuses on strength and power. The women competition includes balance beam and uneven bars. The men's competition includes pommel horse, steel rings, parallel bars, and high horse. Vault 
and floor exercises are the only shared events it's very interesting and um, I didn't know this before I'm not a gymnast and I I don't know much about this sport so I find this very interesting so you can see going back to the drawing uh, we're almost done with the drawing part soon we'll go into coloring says leotards originated in France. The leotard that is used by women in competitions is named after Jules Leotard. Um, he was an acrobatic trapeze artist who wore the form-fitting costume during his performance in 1859. Although the uniform was popularized by him, he is not the inventor of it. And gymnastics began as a male dominated sport, but throughout the years, female gymnast, uh, gymnasts have become the most famous competitors. Shannon Miller is a top gymnast who has won two gold medals, two silver medals, and three bronze medals. The 1996 Olympics women's team is called the Magnificent Seven. They are the first United States women's Olympic team to win the gold medal in gymnastics. Nadia Kominik, she was a top gymnast who was so inspirational that Nadia's team was named after her. And gymnasts is more than a sport. It is practice of awareness, self-control and discipline for children of all ages, which is what um, Apparently, the integrity gymnastics uh, is all about. So um, that's what the website says, and uh, it has few more interesting facts as well. Um, you can check all these out uh, on your own if you want to learn more about gymnastics and explore the website. It's integrityop.com. So um, I'm not sponsored by it or anything. I just thought that these uh, basic, I guess, uh, fun facts are very interesting for a person who doesn't know a lot about gymnastics. And uh, this is the full color drawing of the gymnast I drew. I hope you like it. If you do like it, don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave a comment for me. And if you would like to buy products with this on, check out my Redbubble shop link in the description box below for products. I have a lot for you to choose from, so I hope you love them all. And different designs, different ways um, that you can buy uh, as well, like um, different styles of clothing and other uh, home decor material as well. So check it out. And I also put some next videos for you to check out next. And don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel. I bring a video every single day to you. So I hope you have a great day today. And if you have a request, let me know by commenting below. And as always, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.